Every major city in Florida, save for our state capital, is near water. Every major city, except one. Orlando and Orange County, as we know it today, is a top tourist destination, which seems to make no sense considering all the other Florida top destinations feature water. But they don't feature this. On paper, the Walt Disney World Resort, which turns 50 this year, is just 77,000 employees and 40 square miles. But its impact has been much more than that. I think it's fair to say you and I are not sitting here today if Walt Disney World doesn't come to Orlando 50 years ago. I certainly wouldn't be. My way. Just five years after the rope dropped for the first time at Magic Kingdom, Duncan Dixon was recruited to come work for the company. I mean, you knew Disney was here, but had you ever heard of Orlando? I mean, I heard of it because Disney was here, but other than that. It's hard to imagine that 50 years ago, Orange County actually had orange groves and no tourists. Today, the reason many people hear this. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. Is because they're on their way to hear this. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Disney, when it opened, was just one park and had plans for this thing to be called Epcot. It's now four parks, two more water parks, a sprawling shopping center, and thousands of hotel rooms. Along the way, the resort has transformed a city and a region from a sprawling international airport that has direct highway access to the park to a cruise terminal at Port Canaveral built just for Disney's ships. A half century later, the land that Walt saw as undeveloped and orange groves is now neighborhoods, schools, hospitals, and highways, and growing. Christopher Heath, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.